Hello, everybody. Uh, how is it going this morning? I'm doing pretty well myself. Um, well, okay. Honestly, I I have had um a bit of a frustrating morning right now. At least uh, I was trying to boot up Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and the game is it's just. It's just like wall after wall. And it's just, it's frustrating, right? I don't wanna like, like I just, I legitimately just kept on trying and trying to, to make it work and it just, it just wouldn't. So, uh, hello Fallen. Yo, what's up Victor? Uh, I'm just belly aching. Uh, so we might, we might that being said, right? Um, basically what happened is that I was trying to play Assassin's Creed. I was trying to get started, right? And it would not work. It, like, refused to work, right? I don't know what was going on. Uh, and instead of being in the loading screen for, like, 10 minutes as I troubleshooted this, I think I'm just going to move on. I'm gonna play something else. Uh, that being said, I don't know what to play right now. Um, I'm thinking we could try out some Legends of Arceus again, right? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? We could, we could try out Legends of Arceus, maybe, or we could continue doing uh, Quad New Beaverton uh, in, in Timberborn, maybe. Uh, if you don't know, you can always go with a uh, wheel picker. Lol. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I could. But I guess I guess I want to want uh, to get your y'all's opinions real quick, right? We we could do um, we could do something like uh, Timberborn. Continue with our quad new Beaverton. We could do something like uh, Legends of Arceus, or we could start a new game if we want, right? That being said, I, I've decided that I don't think I want to stream Elden Ring quite yet. Uh, primarily because... Hang on one second. Uh, what's Legends of Arceus? Legends of Arceus is the new Pokemon game. Well, new-er Pokemon game. And, uh, it's like an open world Pokemon. It's an open world Pokemon. And it's, uh, and we're pretty early in the game right now, right? We're pretty early in, in, in the Legend of Arceus. Um, but that's always an option. Yeah, I have Elden Ring. I'm unsure if I'm able to actually run Elden Ring. I've been playing a lot of it recently. As well as, I, admittedly, I'm a little frustrated with the with the game. Uh, because the game crashed, right? The game crashed, it was not my fault. It was like a really weird like loading screen thing, right? And it just, the game crashed. And when I tried to put up the character that I was 22 hours in on, the file was corrupted. Right, the file is corrupted, so um, I have to start from scratch, and that is 22 hours of my life that are gone. Um, so that being said, I I would like to stream it eventually. A part of me wants the uh, you know for it to die down a bit, also for them to do some patches so you know when the game crashes it doesn't corrupt my save file because again that is 22 hours just gone in the flash so i think i'm a little justified in being a little frustrated with the game oh i've already i've already started over that's the thing though right i've already started over i was playing i was playing um with uh cali and uh selfin last night and 
I basically was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take this line down. So I've already restarted. All that being said, it is a bit early in the game still, so we could try it. We could try streaming Elden Ring. Is that something that y'all might be? Is that something y'all might be interested in? Like, I think it's only like three hours. I think it's only like three hours into the stream. Well, not into the stream, the the game, right? I, I was kind of admittedly speed running it a bit, um, because I wanted to get back to where I was. Or alternatively, we could just watch videos. I'm down to watch some videos, but I don't want to be like a, a um. We're gonna be watching video. I haven't looked at any gameplay yet, so I'm up for it. Victor, what do you think? Videos too. I feel like videos is is a good last resort choice, you know. I, I, I mean, I guess we can play, I guess we can, we can try out Elden Ring on stream. Um, I, I'm, the thing is, I'm worried that if it crashes again, I'm going to be stuck with having to start a new character again, you know? Yeah, I just, as I said, right? The game just wouldn't really want to cooperate, so I got... I was frustrated. And because I was frustrated, I didn't really want to, um... I don't know. Keep, keep trying, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. What games are appealing to me? Now, the, the is, the is the, 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 there is this unique opportunity, though, right, where since I have no idea what we should do, since the game I planned on streaming today did not work, um, in theory, we could just get a new game. We could buy a new game, we could try out a new game, you know? Like, in theory. Let's see, what else, what games do I have in my in my library? I prefer a game that's already downloaded. We have I have Baldur's Gate 3, but that needs to be updated. Uh Black Desert. Uh I mean I have Final Fantasy 2, um, not like the number two, but like Final Fantasy comma T-O-O. Although I know that y'all aren't the biggest fan, at least I think Victor isn't the biggest fan of watching Final Fantasy. Um, Disco, I never finished Disco Elysium. We could do Europa, Europa Universalis 4, if you all want to do like a strategy game. Europa might be a good choice. Uh, Hacknet, Half-Life, Half-Life 2. Why is that update for Half-Life 2? What is there to be updated on Half-Life 2? <laughs> um... Halo Infinite, Kenshi, Kerbal Space Program, Left 4 Dead, uh, Mech Mechanics, Mech Mechanic Simulator, Metal Fatigue, Mountain Blade, Muck, Muse Dash, My Fan Pedro, Nexus. There's a lot of games, admittedly, that I have on my my library that I just I haven't played. Well, I I have played, but I didn't play much of.
Hmm. It's always it's always so hard to decide a game. You can play Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. <laughs> I think I bought that game like years ago. <laughs> Up we go, under rail. Yeah, it's not, it's not even downloaded. It's not even downloaded. We could play more Vampire Survivor. Uh, War Thunder? I have War Thunder. What would y'all think about War Thunder? Have y'all ever played War Thunder? It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. In. I mean, at this rate, I'm most tempted just to say, fuck it, and let's just watch some, like, funny, funny videos or something like that. But at the same time, if we're gonna be watching some funny videos, I think I might try to get some people at Nakasen in on the stream, assuming that they are, um, available? Which, I think it might only be Lex or Kalmata, if that's the case. You wanna do some funny. Few in the video. So many choices. I like. I've I've noticed this. Uh, especially like working at Lego, right? There, there's this this thing that happens to people. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Timberborn. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just do Timberborn. Let me let me get let me get Timberborn booted up real quick. Yeah, like I, I've noticed this thing, particularly working at um, Lego, right? Uh, this happens a lot with kids, but I've also seen it happen with like adults and stuff. There, there's this thing that is uh, that basically happens to people that is more or less choice paralysis, where they get like a bunch of choices like presented to them, right, and then they just they freeze up, right? They they aren't able to uh, like decide in in a timely manner. I think that I think that might have happened with us right then. Well, let me get to my board. It happened. It happened to me one time. It happened to me one time when I went to New York City, and we went to um, uh. What was it called? It, 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 like, we went to New York City, right? And... Uh, essentially what happened was that... Uh, what's it called? I... Fuck, I'm like having a huge brain fart right now. Hang on, let me, let me take a moment to we gather my thoughts. I went to New York City. And while I was there, while I was there at New York City... Went to I think I think it's like Ch uh, Chinatown or whatever, uh you know like the the whole um Asia Asian area right I guess is the best way to put it um and uh they I I, I went there specifically with the goal of getting a Gundam in mind. That being said, when I actually got there, there was so many Gunpla that I've, like, I, I've never seen in person, right? It was like a wall of Gundam. Um, and I usually spent like two hours just standing there. And I ended up buying like five Gundam because I couldn't decide. Uh, which I mean... Good for the business, not good for my wallet. <laughs> um, uh, 
All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it, it was... Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta spoil yourself every once in a while, and and in this case, I I definitely definitely did spoil myself. Man, it's been a hot second since we've been to uh, Quadi Beaverton. I forgot we are we are we are faced with a famine. What's, up, what's really unfortunate is that in, um, while I was there, the, uh, well, not while I was there, one of my, one of the models, the Gundam Crossbone x Mal, uh, one of my dogs chewed them up, and I wasn't able to really, like, I have, like, what I was able to recover was its head, its, one of its arms, and it's legs, and it's like, and like half it's backpack. And I've not been able to find an X mouse sense, so I got, that was really, um, that, you know, distraught, I was distraught about it. Yeah, I forgot, we are currently faced with a famine, like a pretty intense famine. We have, um, we have 24 unemployed beavers. Makes me feel like we should be able to start farming more. God, we were also trying to convert this area up into farmland. I feel. I think. I think. Um. Timbertown. Tim. I think Timbertown. I think that. Yeah. I think they're about to start dying in Timbertown. How many people are in Timtown? Ah, fucking 30. I don't know what caused the famine. I think it was just the population exploded again, right? We have 60, we have 162 beavers. I think just the game, we finally just, the game caught up with us, right? We, we weren't able to keep up with uh, the food demands. Which makes me think it might be it might be a wise choice if we maybe we build a new district here and we ha we get water basically pumped in through here or we can maybe even try to build a canal or something over this way and we use we convert this all into um into farmland Right, we could just like we 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 mine this. We could probably send that metal to Timbertown. Here will be will just be like Wheatville or something. I don't know. Wheatville. I think we might end up having to do that because we have a. I don't think we have enough beavers to or we don't have enough land like viable farmland to really get things going again but the thing is we need we need to have like a constant source of water over this way that's the thing right there is no there is no water here except for like maybe over here which you could maybe channel this way but that would require a lot of dynamite that might be a pretty big project, right? We we take we take dynamite and we can div divert the river here, through here, and like go like on an outskirt this way, and have it like run off into here. And this way, that way, though, it could be uh, water. No water. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of dynamite. But we need a lot of food, as you can see. Like, it's not it's not super bad. I some of the beavers are in fact dying from like starvation, and I think it, okay, maybe I was jumping the gun here. How big i'm already kind of at the limit this way once 
Once this is eliminated, like this is all harvested, I think we're gonna convert this area into a little bit of farmland as well. It's so it's it's difficult. There's a lot of things that we need to keep track of, as you can tell. And we need water constantly getting pumped into this way. What if you build a dam upstream, wouldn't that flood that part? Uh, if we build a dam like up here, like if this was like full, this is actually kind of a, a blessing, right? Because if we if we dam all the way up here, it would probably flood this entire region in time. So let's we build another dam like right here to keep the water from um, destroying. All of Quad New Beaverton, we would need to. Yeah, we would need to build another dam. We want to do that. There's just there is just a lot to consider here. I'm worried about Timbertown, since Timbertown's reliant on the food from Quad New Beaverton. But Quad New Beaverton isn't able to even keep up with his own food demands. And Timbertown, okay, Timbertown has lost one population. That's... It's not the end of the world that we're missing only one population, but it's not the best. It's just, uh... Mm, that's a lot of hungry beavers. I mean, if we had dynamite too, we, in theory, we could make more farmland. But if we had dynamite, we could just cut out this swath of land here. Make it flat, right? We can make it flat. And that'll be a whole new source of, of like, farmland. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we need to stop focusing that down a bit, huh? Uh, is it? I think it's landscaping. We need paper to do that, though. Do we have a paper mill? I don't remember. What, uh, lumberjack, lumber mill, scavenge, water pump, unemployed, irrigation. How are we? I don't think we have a paper mill up and running yet. Um, you might, yeah, we should get that started, I think, right? Paper, tape, papier. Where could we build that? This was supposed to be like the fucking, like, manufacturing district over here. Right, this is where we're gonna have all the bad factory, but we had to convert it into emergency farmland because we were fucking dying of starvation. So I guess we need to choose a new place to put the paper. We could build it up here with the warehouses, maybe. Right? So there was there was we I misunderstood how the flooded farmland worked. So we were I wasn't able to really complete it because I misunderstood how it worked. Like you need that like there needs to be like ground. They actually have to like go down and get the uh the juice, right? That's that's the big thing. Man, there are so many hungry beebies. Uh, yes. And then we can go like. Nope, no, wait. Yes. There we go. Go. 
and kind of just have it kind of go out like this. There you go. Well, could the could you flood the area behind Quad New Beaver and plant some there? Just wall off the existing farmland. Uh, maybe. I feel like we if we if we fully block this up. It would eventually cause this area up here to start getting flooded. I, I'm not sure if that would exactly work the way we want it to. This is going on low priority. Ugh, they, 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 it is a situation where they, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't think it's going to work the exact way that we want it to. That's the thing, right? I think what happened is that the drought hit, right? The drought hit us and then we... We just never really recovered from the food part of the the drought. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to stop stop doing berries. I think. I think we should stop doing berry bushes. At least up here, we should stop doing berry bushes because they're not they're not really helping out that much, right? So, um, this. So if we get rid of those, because like berry bushes take a really long time to start yielding, while crops in general don't. Crops take only a couple of days, assuming that there is water, of course. How's Timber Town looking? Residents are looking a little peckish, but they're not starving to death. I think I, might, I think I might have the same mentality over here as well. Do they have? They have no food in New Timber Town. This is the only source of food, so I might, I might kind of like wean that, wean them, whatever it's called, off of um, the need. All right. So just get rid of this. I think that'd be I think that would be the best bet, honestly. A population isn't declining, so it's not that bad. Like the, the the famine isn't the worst thing that's happening to us right now. There is it's still pretty bad though that we're constantly like at zero at the end of the night. But if we can, if we can kind of, you know, get them to stop needing to use, um, oh, and then we can, we can use the strategy that we discovered earlier in the, we can have like a farmhouse built up here, well, a couple farmhouses built on the river, right? We can have like this platform be set up. Building another step back. Yeah, okay. Timber Town might have a new source of food. Soon, maybe. Possibly. And they're about to get the smelters up and running soon enough, I would I'd imagine. Yeah, I remember it. One, one of our goals, one of our goals was to get Timber Town into kind of like self-reliance. I remember that. But 
right? If we can get Quad New Beaverton to be kind of more self reliant, that that probably would be pretty good. I think if we are going to do some uh, terraforming, I'm probably gonna like blow back a little bit of this this hill that Timbertown is on, so we can actually get more like room for farm land. Cause they're kind of they're kind of just like holding on, you know. They aren't living, but they're holding on. These hungry babies just keep eating the food before we can even really stockpile any. <laughs> Like there are moments where I sit there and I'm like, "Oh, we're gonna be able to stockpile," but no, it's just it's just been net negative. So I think with that in mind, we should stop trying to focus. Well, I should stop focusing on on increasing population. Yeah, I feel like we should stop. Uh, I should stop. That is focusing so heavily on. Um, Increasing population and instead focus on maintaining the population we currently have. Uh, that includes, I think, getting another Hollers building set up. If we can get another Hollers building set up, we can get more water in here. This is more hands to bring the water over. But we also need more people to get more water. <laughs> I forgot we had this we had this huge like water farm being built over here. This is a cool ass water farm. All spawn so I realize that they can interlock. And look at that, they're all interlocking. Right, right. Like that. There we go. Like that. I might. I might make it like in blocks, so we can maybe start sprouting over here as well. So this might be the end of the block, so to speak. Right. End of the block. Have it like this and connect. Because I don't. I don't. I don't. I do not foresee us running out of water in the fucking mega lake that we built. Like, this is three levels down. There's a lot of water in here. What's up? You? Gathering flags? Yeah, well, it's not, of course it's not going to do things. Y'all going to get turned off. I'm gonna get turned into wheat. Actually, we should probably make it into carrots because carrots bring the most immediate food. And we need immediate food. Are they in range? Uh, Looks like the range ends here. So we can just kind of get rid of this. We're we're working, we're working here. It's it's gonna it's gonna work out. Yeah, so now that we have more haulers, they should be able to start bringing the water over here more often to prevent well this. That is assuming we get more water up and running, which should be done over here in time. Which, speaking of which, I think I can just pre-build those water pumps. I 
And slowly our unemployment problem is probably going to disappear and I actually do need to focus on card game more popular. This game is just a constant escalation of, oh, I want to do this, but I need this to do this. So I need a, it's a constant escalation. Which is one reason why, in fact, I... I have seriously considered trying to build Quad New Beaverton and like moving it up, like up here. Because there, there, we remember in the very beginning of us streaming, we actually had the thought of putting another layer on here, like on the, on the Mega Dam. Right? Remember we, we had, we had the idea of doing the another, another layer. And in doing another layer, we'd flood this entire level where everyone is hanging out currently. Oh, but I forgot. This needs to get... You need to get some uh, farmers on here. Megadam. Gigadam. Yeah, the Megadam into Gigadam. Because we also we also do not want to run out of water. If we run out of if we run out of water, it's game over, right? Like even if we have water, if this is zero, it's bad. That's a bad thing if it's zero. So that's why we're that's why we're also focusing a little bit on improving the water production. It's a land by the lake out of range, like over here, like this stuff. This is yeah. This is like super out of range. Yeah, this is super out of range. We'd have to put like a new district like down here, maybe, if we want to utilize this. But you see, that's one reason why I was thinking about doing the canal project too, right? If we could build a dam right up here and get the water kind of flowing this way, that also might be pretty optimal. This is a lot. There's a lot of things we we would want to try to accomplish. Okay, so yeah, that us us getting the. Let's prioritize these buildings by the haulers, so this doesn't run out. Yeah, by moving the town higher is probably a good idea. Yeah, if we were to do that, of course. Like, if we were to, to, um... Do such a thing of, like, building a gigadam. Thin land upstream. Oh yeah, we could just, we could just uh, we could just po like pop it right here, right? Yeah, good 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 call. We could just pop it here, and it'll probably f uh, eventually stop flooding out this way. We are beavers, and we're gonna make this land our bitch <laughs> when we get more water. Because I'm I'm slowly noticing our water reserves are going on a downward trend. And with that actually in mind, you might want to consider building some water tanks right here. Because I have noticed moments whether they stop building or stop pumping because the water is, like this one right here, right? I think the water is full or getting there. Because like, yeah, if you notice, our water is also slowly on a downward trend and that that is no good.
I love Gundam. <laughs> so I just took a moment to like examine some some Gundam inspiration. Yeah, we don't want them to run out of water. That's the big thing. Scared of that they might have run out of water soon. Log. Yeah, the water keeps going down. Fuck. Why are they not storing the water? Do I need a hauler's post here, maybe? Um... Lieber. Probably just sneak it in right there. Yeah, I don't think they're prioritizing actually hauling the water over here. Yeah. Prioritize this. Bad boys. And once we're done building this, we can... We'll probably end up... Yeah, we'll probably actually need to end up focus on... on um, Increasing our population again soon. <laughs> Just the ever, the ever biting tide of us needing more hands and more workers. Oh yeah, we need we need more people to. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna need to actually build like another house or something. I do enjoy this. I feel like we were really efficient with handling the, the living situation of the beavers over here. I'm satisfied with how this works. How this has been working so far. <sighs> we have so much wheat. We have so much wheat. Why, why are y'all not... Making wheat fast. Might also prioritize getting another mill up, maybe, because we also have, like I said, I just noticed we have a lot of wheat, but not a lot of flour to make bread. We have 317 wheat. That is a lot of wheat. This one's not even moving. What are y'all doing? Oh, have a good eat. We're already starting on a new block because we need we need more. This will never end because I want more. One unemployed beaver. I guess we gotta, I guess we just gotta start working on that.
Do I only have one of them point B for now? I mean, uh, oh, that's what we mean by unconnected buildings. Beavs, beavers, it's beavs. Um, oh, oh, there's so many hungry beavers. There's so many hungry beavers. At least our water is back up on a upward trend. We should definitely once they once they have this stuff built, we should definitely start working on maybe getting some more mills working. Because there there's definitely just like there's definitely just some things that we could do. You know. Hey, in other news, it looks like we are uh, signing up paper production. I mean, we can make a dynamite factory soon, right? Because like that's the situation here, right? We have so much wheat. We have three hundred and fourteen wheat. We only have five wheat flour. That is definitely that is a lot of untapped food potential there. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna try to tap into that power, that food power. We're gonna do that by converting this area a bit. We're gonna have it kind of bleed down a bit, so to speak. Once this is removed, we can get a bunch of mills in, maybe. Or alternatively, actually, we could kind of make this a second tier. And then start kind of from there. Maybe. That's then. How? Wrist mill. Wrist mill. Oh, we need to get we need to get the these uh these KO'd. Okay, let's uh delete. 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 Wait, can can we are we actually able to reach up there? I don't know. The stairs aren't there yet. We can't I can't tell if we're actually able to reach up there. Cool, 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 cool. You'd love to see it. I think we're actually kind of reaching the the near the limit of what we can really do. But we definitely need to get more grist mills up and running because that is a like I said that is a lot of food potential that's just going to waste uh, from the lack of um, lack of production we also have a lot of we have a lot of scrap metal oh we have a foundry up and running now we, we definitely need more bees up in uh, Timbertown. Because while while the food shortage isn't the best, I admit it it's it's kind of kind of self sustaining. 
right now. Like, I mean, we're having a few beavers die of hunger, but we're not, like, on a decline. That's the big thing. There is no decline. So what we don't want is a decline. We do not want to have a decline. We aren't having a decline, though. Oh, and I just realized that. Close. Just in case, we need to refill the upper level. I don't see that happening. We have so much water up there. I feel like we'd be fine for seven days, but then again, we have been surprised before. Beaver. I think the population is going to start growing a little bit. We actually have paper starting to be made, as I said, so that's great. Um, what about Timbertown? We have one unemployed beaver in Timbertown. That's kind of hard to believe. There's a lot of jobs to be had here in Timbertown. Oh, they immediately found a job. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot about that whole thing. We might need to get an irrigation tower actually up in Timbertown. Right at the edge. Let's pull up, let's pull up the irrigation tower right at the edge. There we go. I think Timber has a lot of water. A lot of potential water. We want to work on getting food for Timber Town. At least, we want Timberton to be self-reliant, as I said, right, before. We, we want them to be self-reliant on, on food. So we can sort of have two independent towns, more or less. Who's having babies? We have three unemployed beavers. Why is no one getting rid of these? The top priority them getting rid of the bushes. Yeah, get rid of them bushes. Get rid of those bush ass bushes. Oh, and that's all dried up now. Cool. It evaporated. Water level is looking a little lower, but I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I think we can last a while longer. Famous last words, of course.
definitely noticing that there are a little bit more beavers dying of, of hunger now than, than before. Hmm... Beaver... Oh! Oh! Stockpiling food? Oh, you finally... No? I... Yeah, no. No, no, yeah, we'll definitely... Yeah. Nope, no stockpiling for us, I guess. <laughs> I was so hopeful for a second there. Yeah, most of our beers have been dying of, uh... Well, never mind. We just had three beers dying in a row from old age. So, uh, fuck me, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> We got the first explosives factory up in, uh, well, not running, but queued to be running soon. And our water supply is on an upward trend. That's what we'd love to see. Food supply is still kind of bouncing up and down. Those are stock workers? It's all just Timbertown town stuff? Like it is. <sighs> Hopefully this food situation gets taken care of. Uh, it's so stressful sometimes being a beaver. It makes it makes a beaver want to be you. to research it. Yeah. Oh, I could build a mine. Or start using windmills or a big new science. There's a lot of things we can do, it feels. Water's looking a little low, but we have we have two days of, of drought left, so I don't think we're gonna be 
worried. Well, we don't. We shouldn't be worried. Yes, I do believe it's going to be pretty pog. I think now we're just kind of waiting on things to kind of go in motion. Beaver. I don't know, I'm just making sounds now. I'm coping. I think no yeah it's just like we, we hover in the tens throughout the entire day and then we just all the food goes away that's the big thing it's not been a single night where we yeah there's not been a single night where we have food left over to, to work with fortunately So much shit that we need to work with here. And we might be able to finally start tapping into this untapped wheat supply we have. Just see, 657 wheat, that is a way, way many wheat. Seems like that is the, that is the bottleneck we are facing with, actually, is they just don't have wheat to cook bread with. Or that's pretty pog. Yo. 
they finally finished that the new level, so Oh wow, we wait, 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 we just had a huge drop in population. It's not their fault. What happened? We just had a huge drop in population. I don't, okay, I, don't, I guess I don't know then. There's, there's a huge drop in population. I just realized, and now we're back up. Did it, was it a fluke? Was my brain just not working? It might have just been my brain not working. I think it might have been my brain not working, y'all. Oh shit! Speaking of flooding... Yep, this is... Uh... Boy, I totally forgot that we were out of the drought. Welp. Yep. 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 Well, this is happening. <laughs> uh, boy. Great. It's great. We love to see it. This completely demolish our farmlands, why don't you? Fuck out, there you go. Yeah! Completely demolish the farmland for a second there. We have one food left. Never mind. <laughs> That's a lot of hungry beef. Yeah, that's just that seems to be the biggest bottleneck is just the lack of flour. Cause they pump up bread super quickly. We just need a bunch of fucking wrist mills to be made. Top priority. Or gears when you need them. Are they all being sent over here? I think the gears might all be being sent over to to Timber Town. No, they shouldn't be. There's a lot of shit. Six hundred forty five flower, Jesus Christ. Soon, soon we're gonna be able to start harvesting all of that fucking wheat that we have. Start making a bunch of bread. I honestly I genuinely think that that if we start 
getting more mills going, that's going to solve our, our hunger issues. So we have 600 now. Wheat that we have yet to turn into to flour. How's Timber Town looking? Their population is growing. It's good. There's someone working the foundry finally. Or not. Where are they working? Oh, the farms? Fair, I guess. Much carrots as you can, bros. But pause the. I don't think we need to have six farmers. Oh, I've overkilled it a bit, admittedly. Break out the big guns. It's so hard. It's so hard dealing with this, right? Because, like, it, in my mind, right, it feels like adding more beavers is just going to cause more issues, but th it's the only way we can get the labor we need. Actually, hang on, I have an idea here. Beats. Go like this. No, we can't do that. Uh. Platform, double platform. How are we working these stairs? Poorly. The answer is poorly. We're working the stairs very poorly. Alright, so it'd be like this, and then we need a triple, then a triple, triple, and a double, then a, I think a triple, triple, no, we did it too early, we need a, we, I was on the right track, we did it too early, so we need to go like that. That, that, so be like this. Uh, double, 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 single, half, half, half. Cool, I think that's how that is supposed to work. I think. Hopefully it works, I don't know. <laughs> we just need to start getting the population up so we can do more, more shit. More jobs!
Oh shit, did we uh did we ever build a way to send shit back to Quad New Beaverton here? I don't think we did. No, we never did. We can just kind of put that right here. That way we can sell actually sending the metal bricks we, we uh, are gonna start acquiring with the smithy back over to or the smeltery or whatever it's called back to Quad New Beaverton. How's Timbertown look? There's room for, for growth. They are growing. Welcome back, Walden. Awesome. We've, we've actually started having to grow the population again to keep up with the demands of technology. And our population is kind of steadily on the, the growth. 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 Specifically, yeah, 184 total. Uh, in although 40 of those belong in Timbertown. Yeah, the reason why we saw need to have the population grow again is because I realized that we have like a hundred, like 600 uh, wheat that we haven't like refined into flour yet. So it was like one of the situations where I was like, okay, we need to we need to switch gears a bit here, and we need to start working on um, getting the wheat into flour uh, in order to help keep up with our demands because we have six hundred wheat that we have yet to use, and that's like a lot of bread. <clears throat> Specifically, that is oh, that is so much bread. So it's like six hundred. So like one wheat flour, which is created by. Uh, let's see. So one wheat is one wheat flour. So 600 wheat, the wheat flour makes five bread per wheat flour. That is a lot. That is a lot of wheat. Not a lot of wheat, a lot of bread. That is, um, 3,000, 3,000 bread? So, you know, a lot, a little bit, just a little bit, just a spoonful. But because of that, we want the population to keep growing. Uh, routes, routes, we ever make a drop off point here? Was down here? No. Do we, do we never make a drop off point for Quad New Beaverton? Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on. I guess we did it. Uh, Timbertown is sustaining itself a bit more. Uh, it's looking better. It's looking better. And your main commodity, dear 
Timber Town is gonna be in metal blocks. We're gonna be sending metal blocks to Quad New Beaverton. Yeah, slowly, as always, it feels we are stuck waiting on the gears being to be made until our wrist mills can, you know, start working again. Oh, it might be a power issue. We might be we might be over we might be underpowering the bills here. Um Try building some of those. Well, hey, get the fuck out of here! I don't think my and my mods are online, so I need to go take care of that myself real quick. Hang on a second. Get the fuck out of here! No one, your shoes are ugly. Get the fuck out of here! All right, sorry. Now, now I need to just fucking wrestle with wrestle with you know the stream to get back into my previous state. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Fuck! Ah, oh my god! Hang on a second. And die. Uh, okay. I love how fucking clunky Twitch is sometimes. Yeah, they've been ignoring me for a little bit. I think it's because I saw it pick it up in viewers again. Uh, edit. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking. Sorry about that, y'all. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, I need to get, I feel like I need to get more mods, but like at the same time, I don't necessarily see the need for them. At least to get more, my streams aren't big enough to really warrant me to get more. And if we get like hate rated, for instance, I'd probably just end the stream. See how this is working. Man. Yeah, we have one mod. Other than me, of course. They just they take so long to be built. Or to be finished. I think it's also because the efficiency is super low. Which you see is 14%. I mean, if we can build this, it might be pretty, pretty poggy, pretty pogs. I 
I think what I, th I think well, there's also what I kind of at the stage of the game where I just need to wait for a second. Uh, <laughs> I just noticed that there is a little description for for our paths that is. Uh, building must be connected by paths. Country roads take me home to the lodge I belong. <laughs> I got that reference. Yay. Vesperina. Water, 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 water. Now we're just kind of waiting on projects to finish up, I think. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting. Gears stay, still take forever to finish being built. I think slowly the metal is actually going down, which is wild. These are starting to get really high too, which I which I think is super cool to look at. Like this is just oh, skin is so high. I wonder how tall we can build, you know? I wonder if we might get to the point where it's so tall that the district, like the like there's like this like the the travel distance with the district just says no, we can't go any higher. Are we going to be making the tower of, of Beaverton or Beaver Bond? That's not a word. Babylon. I was trying to say the Tower of Babel. Tower of Beave. Will our hubris kill this nation? Possibly. Tower of Bivalon. Be well, I think isn't it the Tower of Babel? So wouldn't it be more accurate to say the Tower of of, of um Beaver of Beav? Yeah, brain fart. <laughs> Don't worry, my brain toots all the time. I'm gonna also have them start sending some wood back. 
How 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 the tides have turned? We're sending wood there when they originally were sending wood to us. We have we have such a large amount of wood in in uh, Timbertown that it might just be best if we send if we send it all back. Well, we send not all of it, but like a good portion of it back. To assist with the building projects over here. So that, that did increase the efficiency. Now I was waiting on six gears to be built, and then we can do the jazz with the grist mill and get shit rolling finally. Possibly. So I can get unemployed people. Oh, the all un unemployed in uh, Timbertown. Which is a good sign. That's a good thing that they're unemployed in Beaver Town. Now we can stop planting a bunch of shizzle down. Yes. Good. Very good. And in turn, I'm actually going to start having them... Um, I'm going to start having them ship us water again. Back in, in Timbertown, because we need lots of water. Oh, this is the first time in a while that we've been over the hundreds for food. Yeah, this has been the first time in a while. Okay. And I spoke too soon, I think, because I feel like the food's about to hit zero again. <laughs> on stockpiling shit. Oh my god. Shit, dude. What's up? We finally stockpiled a little bit of food. We didn't run, we didn't hit zero when we hit the fucking night.
And we have so many, we have so much wood in, in Timbertown that trees are starting to develop um, pine resin. So we can actually start trying to get, trying to get pine resin, shipping that to Quad New Beaverton, or just making the wood, the special wood here in Timbertown, which would be probably pretty fitting considering the name Timbertown. Ah, we hit zero again on food. Well, it was nice. It was nice for that one night where we didn't hit rock bottom when it comes to food. Sorry, big stretches, you know how it is. Oh, finally. Okay, finally, 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 finally. Uh, no recipe selected? Make some wheat flour, babe. We need, we need unemployed beavers. Where is some unemployed beavers? Uh, I'm actually gonna migrate some of you back. Get sent back. Work. Work the grist mill. Yes. Yes. More wheat, more bread, more food, more money. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna try to remember your name. Not Evie. Not Evie. I think that's it, not Evie. Uh, I am doing very well. We had a bit of a rocky start to the stream because I was going to play Assassin's Creed. Um, and it fell through, so we're playing Timberborn. And we are dealing with a bit of a food crisis right now in the game. There's a bit of a food crisis. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to mitigate this food crisis. Yeah, I couldn't get the crew to assassin today. So we're just playing some Timberborn, which I mean, that's not a bad thing, right? Timberborn's fun. I want to know my brain cannot handle RTS games without combusting. Yeah, this is, this is, I guess you can call RTSs, or a, a city management games RTSs. I'm actually going to switch you to planting. Make sure the food gets immediately replaced, right? So we just don't have these really weird waves of, um, unharvested, uh, like unused land. Real-time strategy game. No, wheat. If we can actually start getting the wheat into, like, properly tapping into this wheat supply, it might be the best source of food we have, because one wheat flour is five. It's five bread. That's a lot of food. Tempted to just to turn this all into wheat to do the experiment. These potatoes are nice, but they definitely aren't. They're not filling the bellies we need. Hmm. I 
How's Timbertown looking? Timbertown is looking good. It's looking great, actually. A little hungry, but not the end of the world. Okay, nope, we, we were late. That's just gonna evaporate. Let's just let it out. Yeah, that's an eight day uh, drought. That's pretty bad. That's pretty, pretty dangerous. I think we can survive. We have, we have a lot of water stockpiled anyways. I can see us lasting about one or two days without, without uh, the river. Oh, you know what? The reason they, I don't think they're building, oh no, they're building it. Yeah, day eight might be pretty bad. <laughs> let's uh, let's start getting some uh, bakeries up and running. More bakeries, maybe. Oh, bees. I thought seeing some bees around, seeing what that what that does. I was not actually paying attention to what the resources were. That's a lot of paper, but we also have a lot of paper in storage right now, so it's all good. We probably handled that. Definitely think we need we might need to get some bakeries up and running. Too, with uh, the new grist mills being made. I don't know if beavers can work if it's outside of the district limits, but like if it's just like a little bit off. Because I mean, we know for a fact that they don't need to be like 100% on, right? That's the thing. Ah, the building of the explosive factories now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the beavers are transporting water, yeah. We're just kind of waiting right now for things to finish. Whoop.
food. I definitely think I definitely think our our bottleneck is just the lack of flour for this. They they bake food really quickly. They just have no flour to work. See, look look how quickly they make that. Right? They make it super super quick. Well, they just they don't have any wheat to work with. These guys over here are actually. I think that's what most of the food is. is. Yeah, most of the food is is there. Yeah, the 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 uh, city builders in this game are weavers. Yeah, the the city builders in this game are beeves, beeves and vers. I mean, I'm not sure how much you would want to live in a beaver city, considering that half the time the beavers are now starving. There's a lot of beavers starving right now, admittedly. <laughs> There's a lot of beavers, beavers just just starving, and it's not it's not super super great, honestly. That's the biggest thing that we're facing right now in this game is is the massive amount of food shortages that we are just constantly dealing with. It feels like. Which I mean, we're trying to we're trying to alleviate we're trying to alleviate the issue right now, right? With the the uh, beavers starving. That's the big thing we're trying to do right now. Like we we have um, Timbertown might be the hope that new quad new Beaverton needs because most of the food is come is currently is being stockpiled at. Actually, I'm gonna stop them. Stop sending in bread and stuff. Um, so I think I don't think New Beaverton or Timbertown needs it. All right? I think I think I think uh, Quad New Beaverton needs the food more right now. All right? Meow. Nothing. There's no food in Quad New Beaverton. <laughs> hey, worst comes to worst, if Quad New Beaverton falls, we can just replace them with the with the peeps at um at uh Timbertown. You know, worst comes to worst. Yeah. Yeah. We have such a massive supply of wheat. Are they building again? The the fucking explosive factory? I mean I guess I guess we can have them putting the gears in the explosive factory. Whew. 
Oh, let's see. Are they going to run out of food by the time the night ends? I bet. Yep, there it is. If they die, at least you have a source of blueberry flavoring. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Have three days until the drought's over. I might end the stream after the drought. Depends. I'm not sure. I'm just feeling a bit out of it after this, uh, the start of today's stream, which was, you know, a thing that occurred. <laughs> Listen, it's a, I mean, you know, it's just... This is a lot. A lot we had to deal with there. It's no one's fault but mine. So don't feel bad. Yeah. I should have checked if the game was actually going to work better before I actually started the, the stream. But you know how it is. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah, the Elden Ring thing, on the other hand, that pissed me off. That was not my fault. That what happened with Elden Ring. Uh, so, in the beginning of the stream, I mentioned that in Elden Ring... I got Elden Ring, right? I've been playing it on my own because I didn't really want to stream it since everyone is streaming it right now. And with Elden Ring, uh, I was playing. I was like about 22 hours in the game at that point. And I died. The game crashed. And then... When I tried to start the game back up again, the save file was corrupted. I was not able to play my character because my save file was corrupted. And I basically have to restart from square one. Yeah, so that was 22 hours of my life just gone in a blink. It was very upsetting. I guess so, right? There's definitely a lot of things that they need to work on for like optimization of of Elden Ring, honestly. Cuz I really like Elden Ring, but it is like they have issues with with optimization. There we go. We're starting to get the food pile back up. situation's getting better in Quad New Beaverton. But it could always be better. Always be better. Right, the food lasts a lot longer into the night now. 
That's the big thing. Plus, I'm not sure if y'all know this, but we're actually at population 220, uh, 219. A bunch of them just died of old age. Oh yeah, we got the we got the chunkiest beavers this side of the Mississippi. That being all sides. Oh. Oh shit, I was not expecting this to happen. Well, we have half a day. We can last half a day. Okay, so we, we now know that with our current limits on water and stuff like that is eight days. Well, seven and a half days specifically. After seven and a half days, we, we run out of water. So more accurately, it would be eight days is, is the upper limitation on, on the amount of water we have. Right now with the with the big lake. Ask Cree, they just announced Valhalla has sixty percent off right now. Ooh, I might pick that up then. Ah, yeah, no, I mean, I play my games on my, my PC, so it's all good, I guess, for me, at least. <laughs> oh, there we go. More wheat. Oh, another grist mill, some more wheat flour. Meaning more bread, meaning more food. How's Timbertown looking? They need food. I guess I need to get bought new beavers in to send them food. Some of them send carrots. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Water's back. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, and now it's just gonna take a second for the lake to fill. I'm gonna wait for the lake to fill back up. And then we can start the... Then we can end the stream properly. There we go. Will I die of inactivity in like four years? Probably. Will I change my habits? Nah. <laughs> hey, live your best life, you know? That's what I say. That's probably people thinking of me while I play games and cry over fictional characters. I mean, if that's your best life, that's your best life, you know? All right. 
Alright, the lake is filling back up. So, I think with that, actually... I think I'm going to call it a stream here today. Thank you all so much for coming to the stream. I know it was a bit hectic in the beginning. I'm feeling a little... I'm just feeling a little off today. Uh, so yeah, with that in mind, I hope everyone ha uh, enjoyed the stream. And uh, let's uh, let's raid somebody. Let's spread the, the vibe. You, you know what I mean, gamers? Raid... Let's see this person. I haven't raided them in a while, but yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Uh, I think I, I'm going to try to stream tomorrow, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I have work tomorrow, so it's going to be a pretty big day, especially because it's a release day. So I might not be able to, but I, I'll, I'll try my best. But yeah, with, with that in mind, I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah.